Assalamu alaikum and very good day. My name is Dr. Javed Iqbal. Welcome to my new video on types of attributes, features or variables in machine learning and data mining. If you are new to the machine learning, you must be aware what are the different types of variables or features or attributes. In this video, I will provide you an overview of different types of attributes. The slides presented in this video are taken from J.V. Hahn book Data Mining Concepts and Techniques. This slide shows what is an attribute. An attribute or dimensions or feature or variable or data field representing our characteristics or features of our data object. For example, customer ID, name, address. The attributes can be of different types such as nominal, binary, numeric, numeric, also called quantitative, which can be further divided into interval scale and ratio scale. This slide shows detail of each type of attribute. First, we will see what is nominal attribute. Nominal attributes indicates categories, states, or names of things like hair color, which can be open, black, blonde, brown, gray, red, and white. Next is the marital status, occupation, ID number, or zip code. All these are types of nominal attributes. Next is the binary attribute. Nominal attribute with only two states, 0 and 1. Binary attributes can be symmetric binary and asymmetric binary. In symmetric binary, both outcomes equally important. For example, gender. So while we are working on any kind of data, here this attribute shows that both gender have equal importance while we are working on any data. Next is asymmetric binary, outcomes not equally important. For example, medical test positive versus negative, convention, assign one to most important outcome, for example, HIV positive. So, in asymmetric binary, both outcomes are not equally important. Next is ordinal. Ordinal values have a meaningful order or ranking, but magnitude between successive values is unknown. Like, if we are considering a size attribute, the value of the size can be small, medium, large, or grades. If we are storing grades of our students, army ranking, etc. All these are ordinal attributes. This slide shows what are the different types of numeric attributes. Numeric attributes are quantity which represent integer or real valued numbers. Further, numerical attributes can be interval based or ratio based. In interval based, intervals measured on scale of equal size units. Here values have order. For example, temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, calendar dates, there is no true zero point. Next is ratio. Ratio has an inherent zero point. Here inherent zero point means that relative value is calculated. We can speak of values as being an order of magnitude larger than the unit of measurement. 10 Kelvin is twice as high as 5 Kelvin. So here we have a relevance within data. But in interval, we do not have any relevance. For example, Temperature in Kelvin, lens counts, monetary quantities, 
all these can be represented using a ratio this slide shows the difference between discrete and continuous attributes first we will see what is discrete attribute discrete attribute has only a finite or countably infinite set of values for example zip codes for fashion are the set of words in a collection of documents sometimes represented as integer values note binary attributes are special case of discrete attributes where we can represent data using one or zero or true or false next is continuous attribute continuous attributes has real numbers as attribute values for example temperature height or weight practically real values can only be measured and represented using a finite number of digits lastly continuous attributes are typically represented as floating point variables the slides presented in this video are taken from jv handbook data mining concepts and techniques in this video i have shown you different types of attribute if you are new to machine learning or data mining you must be familiar with these types of attribute thank you very much for watching this video